Hey y'all, my name is Cassie and I am a planner enthusiast. I love planners, I love notebooks, I love stickers, pens, lots and lots of pens, uh, you name it. I started using a happy planner specifically in 2017 and this is my very first planner. My friend Kim is the one who actually introduced me to the happy planner. It kind of blew up on social media and we were looking at it, we're like, wow, this is so cute and fun and like it combines everything that we like into one thing. And we both decided to get one. Now, I would like to point out that the <laughs> the discs on here are not Happy Planner discs. They are the Staples Arc Notebook System uh, discs, which also work uh, for the Happy Planner. But since this is a planner I'm not using, I didn't want to use my Happy Planner discs on it because I'm using them now. So anyway, I thought it would be fun for my first video on here to show you guys what my very first happy planner looked like. Now, prior to having a happy planner, I have always had some sort of planner, but I never really like stuck with it. So, you know, for example, I would buy a planner when I was in college and use it to write down assignments. And then like halfway through the semester, I'd be done with it because it was boring and it just didn't keep me coming back. And I would just use my Google calendar to keep track of stuff. And, I never really fell in love with one planner system. And when I found the Happy Planner, it was just like everything I wanted. So, as we open it up, now I barely remember what this even looks like. I know it is a vertical layout. That's what I started with, with Happy Planner. And I know, I remember that when I got started, I used a lot of stickers, like an abundance of stickers. And so as I open it here, I see a happy planner wish list. Live loud, washi, purple hues, skinny washi, checklist stencil. I actually got that. And then I had a wish list for memory keeping, which I'm going to do another video on because I still do memory keeping. I just have been on a little hiatus and I need to get back into it. So anyway, that was something I, for some reason, put in the front of my planner. This was a to-do list for um, my photography business. Some staff meeting notes, so I just kind of had some random stuff in the beginning there. So this is my page, wrote my name there. I believe this is the erasable, um, the friction erasable pen. Let me see. I have one in here. Yep. <laughs> I thought it was because uh, I remember being like super nervous to write my name in here. So I'm just going to kind of add that back as best as I can. That's the, that's the reason I stopped using these pens is because once you erase, I find it really hard to go back and write on it, but whatever. So anyway, wow, we got our 2017-2018. So this was a student planner and I have been pursuing my master's degree since 2017, um, along with my friend Kim, who we got into the happy planner at the same time. So we thought, you know, student planner is perfect and this particular planner, just the themes of it just spoke to me like, I just think donuts are so cute. Okay, I should probably point out. You'll see there's no monthly dividers. And <laughs> that is because I took all the monthly dividers out and cut off the little tab on the side that had the month and then framed um, my favorite dividers. And I will um, post some pictures on Instagram of those. And Hannah from the Happy Planner inspired me to do that. Because you have an old planner, you don't need your monthly anymore and you can use it as a piece of art, so. That's why there's no, like, dividers for the month. All right, let's get into it. Oh my god! This is my first, my first planner layout, and it is atrocious. Oh my god, I can't even look at this. Okay. So, <laughs> I was totally new to this. I remember being uh, overwhelmed with... Uh, the vertical layout because I had never done anything like that before <laughs> and I didn't really know how to decorate it but I had all these brand new stickers and I was like I want to use all the stickers so clearly I used all the stickers um wow yeah this is I will say now after using this this vertical layout and moving on to horizontal after this and then teacher and now dashboard this is my least favorite layout. It just doesn't work for me personally. I know plenty of people are like ride or die vertical layout people. It's just not my thing. But if there's one thing I miss 
from vertical layouts is these stickers that fit so perfectly in these boxes. There's something so satisfying. Comment below if you agree. There's something so satisfying about these stickers that just fit. Oh, I love it. Uh, we had less stickers on this one, but we, we, we started with the washi tape. I think that was my first, first time using washi tape. Yeah. So we got some little washi right here. We got spider webs in August because I like creepy stuff. So I sometimes I do Halloween like spooky themes in like March. It just it truly depends on my mood. Um, I did have a cute sticker in this box here, but it's a little it's a little barren over here. Tomb Raider Definitive Edition came out. I need to be better about tracking video game releases in my current planner. All right, we're we're getting a little better. We're getting a little better. The thing about this that I don't like, just based on my playing style now. There's no coherent theme. There's no color scheme. It's just like stickers threw up on the page. You've got like hot pink, hot pink and purple go really well together, and even this blue, but then you've got like orange and bats, green, you've got gold here, and there's like no more gold accent, and then you have all this black and white. It just, I like to have a theme for my weekly layouts. All right, and then we have September. And again, there's no monthly divider. That's why there's only half of the month because I cut out the divider. Okay, so we have our first use of a sticky note. <laughs> um, this one's a little eh, pretty boring. Looks like I was just not feeling it that week. Oh, wow. Oh, this makes me emotional. This was the first time I ever taught a class. September 9th, 2017. I got my Facebook for Business class and I put this sticker. First I drink the coffee, then I teach the things, which is so cute. And then don't stress, do your best, forget the rest. You got this. I was so nervous to teach that class. I can't even put in words. Wow, that makes me super emotional. Okay, so then uh, next week. Again, just like stickers throw up on the page. I do really like this Life is Better with Sprinkle sticker. And I, I like the quotes that they had on the bottom here, but I just, there's no theme. I don't like it. Okay, so this is when I started, this was before I got a memory keeping book and I was doing some memory keeping within my planner. Um, I ended up not liking that, but I do think it's cool to look back on how it has progressed. So I got a picture of me and my husband there. We did a 5K. All right, and then we have October. Okay, um, that's a really cool sticker. Um, but you see, I mean, I did, did a little memory keeping here. Got a picture from a photo shoot I did. Okay. Oh, I remember this. I remember this so vividly doing this. This was my very first time flying ever. And that in particular is why I had to put that picture there. Um, I went to a conference. I put my, our very first flight. Jimmy and I, my husband and I, was our very first flight. So it's cool to look back on that. Again, I mean, this just kind of makes me like anxious looking at it. Like, <laughs> there's just too much. There's too many colors. There's too many like fonts. And it's just all over the plate. I just don't like it. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, this is still like way too much and gives me anxiety, but it's getting better and obviously I love it because it's spooky October bats and spiders and ghosts and oh, I love it. I love it. I love this washi tape. We got some more Halloween over here and then we have like just again, just random stickers just thrown onto the page. <laughs> Don't make me adult today. I don't like, like, see, the way I plan now, like, you've got a fall washi right here, but there's nothing else fall. I don't, that drives me crazy. It needs to be either fall or it needs to be bright and colorful, not both. Again, I'm just speaking to me personally in my style. <sighs> Again, I just don't like this anymore. Like, I've got fall here and I do have, it was Thanksgiving. Now I would do the entire week would be Thanksgiving themed. It would be all, like, fall and Thanksgiving not 
you know, bright pink and yellow and I just, I don't, I just don't like it. This is, see, this is getting a little better. You've got your pinks and purples and they all kind of go together. But then you have like winter. Like what, what is that? <sighs> now we're getting into like, okay, let me start doing Christmas colors. But over here you've got pink and purple. <laughs> this is a mess. <laughs> Okay, um, got our winter break here. It's a little more Christmassy. It's, it's getting a little better. Oh, Atticus turns three. God, time is flying. And <laughs> I, I tend to do this every year, and I swear I'm not going to do it this year. Uh, during Christmas time, you know, winter break, um, I'm very fortunate that I do get a winter break. Um, but I don't like use my planner and then it's just barren and it's like Christmas didn't happen. I really, I really need to be better about that. Oh, this was a free printable. I remember this and I had like the presents I was going to buy and okay. So we've got some like kind of a gold theme here. I did like over here. First game I played in 2018, Batman Arkham Asylum. Currently listening to Revival by Eminem. Um, which now, you know, I want to, I want to track more stuff like this. Um, I really want to utilize my monthlies more for, for doing that. Okay. I have, I was so proud of this. I remember vividly, if you know anything about MAGFest, the Music and Gaming Festival in National Harbor, Donuts is perfect. I was just so happy with this layout. And then I had, <laughs> oh, freaking Bill. So great. Then I had some, you know, blues and greens. I mean, this is a little crazy, but at least it's all like the same kind of colors. Yes, we've got black and gold and oh my gosh, I love this over here. I love this. This was a free printable and I put it on the side here and it has like, you know, what are you watching? Who are you texting? What are you listening to? That's cool. Don't let them break you. Don't let them tell you who you are, which is an against me lyric. Uh, notes from a meeting. And again, I, okay. I stuck with the theme on the other side of the, the week. That was good. I, I It's getting a little better. Whoa. Whoa. That's a lot of colors, but I like it. Purple's my favorite color. And this has purples and pinks and teal. And I, I love teal. Uh, that was notes from a conference. Again, we're starting to get more like themes going rather than just vomiting of stickers. I was tracking the bills I had due. That was cool. Okay, see, I was starting to <laughs> understand the concept of colors and themes. And again, stuck with the same theme here. Got the reds and the pinks going on. I really like that. I think that was from the Rainbow Book. Oh, <laughs> that's a lot of stickers. There's like no room to write. I've got stickers in all these boxes. That's ridiculous. Oh, but it's so funny to look back on. Oh, woo, Valentine's Day. Hello. That's honestly pretty cute. It's, that's pretty cute, I will say. It's, it's way too busy for my style now, but I do like it. Again cute but just way too busy for my current uh preference but that's just me so now we're in march of 2018 here it's pretty stickers in there do more with less i love that it's just like i can't believe how many stickers i used like i was barely writing in in my planner oh that's cute okay all right so you can see like it's getting better as it goes on which is, you know, typically your goal. You want to like your layouts the more you do them. And you know, what somebody likes is not, you know, what I like is not what other people are going to like and vice versa. Um, it's just all about your personal preference and your playing style. But, like, I just don't like this, this style anymore, but it's really cool to look back on. These are from the sticker rolls. Hooray for Spazzato wine. That's cute. Woo! Rainbow. I'm not typically a fan of like rainbow colors. Um, sometimes I get in the mood for it, honestly. It, just like anything else, it depends on my mood at the time and apparently I was feeling rainbow. But I mean, clearly I do like rainbow <laughs> somewhat because I have a rainbow hand sanitizer holder. Oh 
Okay. Here I've got like a combination of black and white and then these like pastel blues and greens, which is really pretty. These are that's pretty cute. Do all the things. That's cute. Well, these are pretty. I did some layering here. I do I use a lot of inserts like brain dumps for, you know, random things. I still do that. Now we're getting into May here. Pinks and purples. Lots of stickers. This is pretty. At least, see, it's a theme. It's a coherent theme. The same colors. I love it. Killing it. Alright, we're getting to the end here. Oh, this is a divider I didn't take out for some reason. It's super cute. I don't know why I didn't take that one out. Alright, so this is the last month in my very first planner. Um, we have Looks like a red, white, and blue kind of thing going on for Memorial Day. <laughs> Great job you wore pants today. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Got some kind of neutrals here, black and gold. Ooh, love. Love, love, love. I mean, I didn't use it. And look, I even had purple pens. Man, I was really into the purple that week. I'm always in a purple, but I tend to write in black ink in my planner now, but okay. These colors look pretty good together, but I didn't write it on this side at all. And this is when I reached the end of this planner and went into my new one. This is just a few random notes and then <laughs> a random <laughs> name tag and that is that so that is my very first happy planner that was very interesting to look back on because I don't plan like that at all anymore so it'll be really fun to kind of see the progression as I show you current things I have my current planner which I'm going to do a video on um, kind of how I have my planner set up now you know compared to how I set this up I'm also going to do a video on how I do memory keeping and and uh, share some ideas for that but thank you guys so much for watching and this is so, you know something I've wanted to do for a long time and I've been apprehensive so I hope you guys enjoyed this and you know will watch my future videos and be sure to follow me on Instagram it's at uh, planning with cast I will link that in the description I'm going to be posting lots of pictures of my uh, current planner and layouts and things and I may even do some throwback pictures from this after after looking at it. I'm gonna get my Instagram going back up again. Uh, being in quarantine has kind of given me some creativity and inspired me to do some things I've been putting off for a while. So hopefully you would join me over there. I would love to have you and I will follow you back. And thank you so much for watching and see you next time.